perception of it. Hey, there we are. I can't really see you very well, but what I tend to do, I just did some, I just did some, uh, what do you call it? Why is that there? Oh, sorry. Hey, that was weird. Anyway, so I just lifted some weights for like 20 minutes while I was listening to YouTube. And then it normally happens on Fridays that I tend to get really depressed on a, on a Friday and I can feel that I'm talking to you in my, and uh, I, I have to uh, exercise and have some ice cream to, to make sure that I don't slip into a complete depression because i got to go to work soon and that's normally quite disappointing. Platinum Mimi. So what I did is I get some Vianetta. This is vanilla and chocolate and I'm going to go pedal while I study afterwards. You guys know that I can pedal and study simultaneously. And so I burn, I study for two hours, National 90, and I burn, I don't know, like 200 calories or something, yeah. So that way I will actually burn off the Vianetta. And based upon my lifestyle, I am actually, I have 700 calories that I haven't yet used for today. So I've got to find a way to fill it up. <laughs> yeah. And it's pretty good. It's got the beautiful chocolate inside, um, which I really, really like. And it just helps with the endorphins. Now, obviously, this is not the best to eat. But when you live that the way I, I do and, and you incorporate exercise into your daily life and you, uh, whoops, uh, you know, you, uh, you, you eat all the stuff that you see me eat the, all day, every day. Well, sometimes I'll have an endorphin pumper. Looks like tiramisu. Yeah, it does work. So now I just need to get a spoon, which I have right here that I prepared earlier. And what we do is, mm, so it's vanilla ice cream with little chocolate on the inside. It's like, yeah, like tiramisu, but there's no, there's no cake section. Mm. Cause I don't really like cake. I never really have actually, except ice cream cake when I was a kid. So now what we do is we come and sit down and let's see if I can put on a light so I can talk to you guys. All right. And enjoy. It's nice because it's got little, little piece of hard chocolate. Mm. Mm. So you can see there, it's like, it's got the, the little chocolate inside, flakes. Mm. Mm. So this is probably like around 300 calories, which will go into my list but what's interesting is that i'm gonna go pedal now while i'm studying and without even realizing i'm gonna burn it off which means that i'm still gonna have 700 calories to use today but i'll probably use it tomorrow you couldn't <laughs> can't keep it at home that's too funny <laughs> mm. Good question. I am studying because I'm about to finish my degree in mathematics and physics. Now this really upsets my dad when I put the knife in my mouth, but I don't know why. It's a, it's a nice way to clean the knife. <laughs> I'm not, I, so now, yeah, I'm just, just finishing that, that maths and physics degree. How old are you? I am 36 and a half. How about you, ghost? Probably, I'm guessing, 17? <laughs> Over 22. Mm. No way. Mm. Cool. So, that's about it. So, the, the, the depression always wants to get to you. It always wants to bring you down and it wants to reduce you to a non-moving animated corpse almost.
It's a very tricky situation because fighting it, fighting it takes so much out of you that you could be spending doing other things. But at the same time, if you don't fight it, then you can't do anything. So that's how it works, I guess. And uh, talking to you guys about it is good because fingers crossed it helps other people as well. And sometimes some people have ideas about how to do how to deal with things. What type of job do you want to do after your degree? Mm, good question. Uh, I don't really know. Probably, I'm probably going into research next year. So, and we'll go sell the book. I just published a book, so I got to go. I'm going to try and sell that, and I'll probably scope taking you guys with me as I'll try to sell the book around. I was eating ice cream sandwich in two other bars. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually know what I want to do. I've always been changing my friend, Mr. Ghost. You'll, um, I've been, I don't know, DJ, bartender, motorcycle courier. I used to sell mortgages. I uh, used to rent out sports cars, be a limo driver, rent out motorbikes, motorcycle courier, which I think I said. I told you about the bartender. I used to sell orange juice. Mm. I was a volunteer. Uh, to teach students at libraries. Uh, what else? I also used to volunteer to teach English to refugees. Mm, I was a concert pianist for a little while. Mm. I was a DJ for a little while. Mm, I used to be on radio. I lived with my parents. Yeah, that's right. Language teacher. Yeah, I used to teach French and Italian. And I was a mathematics tutor. Mm, I don't know what else. I studied to be a translator, but that didn't work. Hater of the year, <laughs> 2K17. That's awesome. Hater's going to hate. So that's about it. So now I'm just going to sit on my own and finish You Speak Italian Cool a little bit. Mm. Non parlo l'italiano molto bene sfortunatamente. What am I eating? Ah, oh, it was called a vianetta. Yeah. My favorite line in Italian is la paura della morte è inestirpabile. The fear of death is ineradicable. It's almost the same in French. In French it's like la peur de la mort est indéracinable. A lot of Italians in Australia. Mm, I don't know what you mean by a lot. <laughs> there are some Italian communities for sure. Non mi frega niente. Grazie mille, platinum amimi. That's what they used to call me when I got into the class. So, yeah, oh, that's all you know. Um, yeah, when I so I started the class and then 40 lessons later they I was teaching and the other teachers thought I was from Italy, which was pretty funny. Yeah, but there was one guy who used to call me Signor Perfetto Accento. And you know, it's interesting to see the other humans try to uh school the different dialects. You see them try to figure out why this new guy seems to know the accent. And it was interesting to hear regular humans come up with the reason. And it was like, ah, oh, because he plays piano, so he knows he knows the um you know, the, the classical uh, piano, what do you call it, uh, terms like allegro and fortissimo and whatever. I thought, yeah, okay, that could be the reason. Have I changed everything up? Hmm. What is my setup? Because of Spanish. Hmm. I remember my Italian friend telling me there are a hundred different types of Italians. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's normally the ancestry of Europe. Which channels do you have now? Oh, sorry. That's what you meant. Um, okay. So we've got Gab Life, Gab Smacked, 
Gabversity, Irrational, and Six Lang. And I think that's it. But yeah, Italy was always, the whole thing was a big melting pot. So they, language variations of Italian. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we're, all, all languages were like that, you know. Um, but it, uh, Italian is one of the most famous for being that way, yeah. Pancakes or waffles. Ooh, that's hard. You don't follow anyone anymore. Yeah, I stopped because we were getting too many shares with all the channels. So it's hard to share with you. Yeah, that's, 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 that's good. I, I don't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> and that's why I that's why I shut all the channels down. because uh, there were and people were complaining that too many shares were coming in from different people. So I shut the whole thing down. <laughs> it's funny, you're like, it's hard to share with you. I'm like, that that was the idea. Israel bombed Syria. Uh what else is new? Israel's always bombing Syria. Syria's bombing something. You should just go from one channel like everyone else. <laughs> yeah. You know, I used to scope from one channel, but there are so many different topics and so many different subjects and so many different um, audiences that uh, it becomes too, too annoying. Like each person is pissed off because there are so many different topics we talk about. So, you know, Gab Life is more about eating and lifestyle and, and food and Gabversity. We do quantum mechanics. We do Try to include some important discussions. Uh, yeah, is that what it was? Yeah, I just, I don't have time, Earl Brooks, unfortunately. Um, uh, and, and, and a lot of the crap that was sent over was just, uh, I just don't want to be affiliated with. Why are you depressed? Okay, bye. Bye, Earl Brooks. <laughs> I think I upset Earl Brooks. Uh. <laughs> Uh, that's a shame. I always thought that day would come. Um, 10,000 question. Yeah. Maybe I should make a, make a, make a channel for L Brooks just to share stuff. See, for example, like this is um, a lot of a lot of people on Gas Pact and Gabversity don't want to see this crap where we're just sitting around and trying to trying to beat the depression. Uh, depression is it's genetic, but it's a combination. If you go to if you go to uh, Gab Smacked on YouTube to answer that gentleman, you will um, you'll see the story and it'll explain a lot of things. Why are you depressed? One ask. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's uh it's it's something uh, be, be, being I, I think a lot of people confuse uh, this i've heard this before from someone else actually but a lot of people confuse depression with being really sad and they they're not the same um depression is a, a biological that was the ten thousand dollar question ah um they're not the same thing uh, being depressed is more a neurological um, disability Work out every day hard, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point. That actually does help a lot. I just finished uh, the gym, and now I'm going to go back and pedal while I'm studying. Yeah. And then I go, uh, working tonight doesn't help, so I'm working tonight from 11 until 4 in the morning. And there is something about going to that place and picking up the bus at, in the middle of the night. That is unbelievably toxic. Oh, she really left. Oh, that's a shame. Then go for an hour run, do that every day. Oh, it definitely makes a difference. Like um, before I was doing that, you know, ye years ago, it's always a fight. Like years ago when it was, when it was really bad. Forever. I don't know. I hope not. But um, There were some comments over the last few weeks that sort of gave me this suspicion that I was I was upsetting her, but that's okay. People have the right to be upset. Anyway, um, all right. So now we're going to go and finish our assignment. And why am I upside down all of a sudden? Uh, what's going on? It is fine. Now I'm upside down. I don't know what's going on. 
Oh, I can't even. Yeah, so uh, um, no, that definitely works. Exercise works because you're building up a level of um, a level of endorphins. It's upside down now. That's very weird. I don't, I'm so confused. This thing now it's right to me and it's upside down to you. Very weird. Anyway, yeah, I'll probably head off now. So there you go. Some good thoughts from other people. You do exercise. You do. Not for you. It's okay for you, is it? Um, I'll probably go into the Patreon group now, the, the GoFundMe Patreon group, and I'll just have a chat with you guys for a little bit. Yeah, but it's good. So who was it? Ghost, I think it was, who gave the um, who gave the good feedback. Yeah, work out. You work out hard. You train. You try to keep your level of endorphins counteracting the lack of dopamine in the body. But there are some people who are naturally predisposed to having very, very, very low dopamine levels. So you try with medicine to to sort of keep the levels high enough. Um, but uh, some people are just. Um, naturally hypersensitive to negative emotions as well it's it's, it's it can be genetic and that's that's actually part of creativity it tends to be that they run alongside each other so it's always going to be something you have to fight and you're right you you without doing all of this work it, it would be impossible to beat with all of this work it's still difficult so it's like you have to run up a treadmill that's sort of running the other way and you have to run so hard just so that you don't get sucked sucked away by the by the treadmill yeah you know fighting it off how is that fighting it off it's uh when you've got two something uh oh how is it hard to, is it hard to fight off when you got to deal with it uh, <laughs> uh well it's it's something you have to manage right I, I guess it's like any other disease that people people have you <laughs> yeah, you, you, it's, it's not something that just like some people think, oh, it's going to go away and then you'll be better. I mean, no, crawling out of a pit and sliding back down. Oh, that is brilliant. Jetta Diva. This is why I talk to you guys. It's, it's this great stuff just keeps coming out. Xander Jellybean. Yeah. Ah, oh, Xander's back. Passal, Passat. Talk about it, dude. Then it comes <laughs> out more uniquely. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Very true. It's great. It's all this is like an idea fest, you know, where people just little ideas bubble up like the hearts do. But but you're right, you have to keep crawling out of the pit. And if you relax even for a day, <laughs> you uh you'll fall back in. So it is it is something you have to manage constantly. Um, you know, you almost have to take your medication religiously and exercise and study and always always talk to your friend counselor therapist i mean i'm talking about me i'm not giving the advice right but this is what i'm learning over the last 11 years on how to how to deal with it you can do it yeah exactly it's like go exactly like what ghost was saying about going to the gym right like the the, the heavier you lift over time the stronger you'll get without medication um possibly yeah one day we'll get there i mean i'm only i'm only at like like 30 percent of what it was 12 years ago Unless it ever takes you, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, it's always a precarious balance I find, by the bootstraps. Bologna, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's that's another good way to to look at it too. Nutrition, yeah, absolutely. I would say nutrition has a massive effect. How was your day? Great, thank you, Nigel. Um, I started losing my hair. Doctor told me it was depression. Oh well. Wow. Interesting stuff. Your mom suffers from depression. Yeah. It's not good, is it? There's a lot of mothers who suffer from postnatal depression when they, uh, um, shortly after their child is born. Now, yeah, but it's like a root of bitterness. It is. Yeah. You, it's, it's not like, yeah, it's not like something, oh, yeah, just get happy or laugh and then you're okay. I mean, uh, that is uprooted I think it's part of some people's genetics like it might not it might not metastasize into such a dangerous situation but uh, it's always there at some point and especially someone like uh, you know if they if they're highly sensitive to negative emotions they're always going to have more of a problem <clears throat> 
So you've got to you've got to constantly figure out are you getting enough sleep? Are you having the right nutrition? It's like a chronic any chronic disorder. Sorry. <clears throat> I don't think it's ever cured, you just learn to manage it. Yeah. Oh, I missed someone's comment. What was that? You know more about it than I do. <laughs> Well, my friend, I've been living with it since I was 12. How long is that? 24 years. <laughs> what about pain? Um, do, I, do you feel the pain? It, it is painful. It's, it's worse than sort of the average physical pain that you would expect. Definitely. Uh, yeah, so then you, you do a bit of exercise. You... You try and sort of, you know, um, That's true. There's downsides and upsides to thongs. Yeah, that thong, the thong, thong, thong. L Brooks is back. I thought you hated me. Welcome back. <laughs> Cheest. That's awesome. <laughs> you are loved by Jesus Cheest. Mm. Ah, Gin and Tonics is back. Bonjour, chérie. Comment ça va aujourd'hui? J'espère que tu vas bien. People may hate you, but you still love them. Man, that's another good one. It sounds like you've already read my book. <laughs> yeah. What else you want to talk about? Yeah, I think we're done, my good friend Nigel. I think now we can celebrate by just having a bit of some piano and then getting out of here. one is actually a song by uh, Road Trip. Let's do it. That's a Mary J. Blige. I don't remember the song. Uh, don't wanna be without you, babe. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. I get energy from exercise, from Vianetta, and from you guys. It is a bit blurry, isn't it? I don't know what's going on. Is that better? <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. Oh, I learn a lot from you guys too, my friend. <laughs> it is kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> I think now you need to <laughs> cold play Sun and Rush to the head. Uh, now, now you're way too ahead of me. <laughs> Ah, 
fucked bit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Unfortunately, we know the world of autocorrect. Hmm. <laughs> you reckon that's better? That's funny. <laughs> I didn't even have Marjorie, but it could be. Do you know I don't like Mondays? I have. I don't like Mondays either. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I, I I don't know that many tracks. I I'll have to if I hear it, I can play it. But uh, I don't like Mondays. If you tweet it to me, oh, I don't have Gab Life Twitter. You have to tweet it to me at Gab Smack, and I'll look it up, and then I'll play it. Boomtown Rats. I don't like Sundays. Sundays are worse because you know that Monday's coming. We should put you on the other side. Cool playing, dude. Excellent right hand movement. I know. <laughs> Maybe that will be better for you guys. I gotta go study soon, but um Play nothing else matters. How does that go? <laughs> oh, that would be beautiful to play violin. Metallica. I'd, I've never even heard Metallica at all. <laughs> oh man, I've got to start learning all these tracks that you guys know. Metallica. I remember seeing Metallica on a t-shirt at school. That's about it. Hmm. <laughs> How about a simple chord progression? Sure. Um, which one do you want? Is that the one where everyone gets married?
Hashim, man, you know, man, there's all this stuff I don't know. I've got to learn from you. Play something you don't know to challenge yourself some more. Let it be. Let it be. Is that how it goes? Let it be. <laughs> uh, play something we don't know. I don't really know anything, uh, actually. It's funny. Um, shit, now i got to... Man, hold on. i got my laptop. Uh, maybe next time I'll try and... I'll, what I'll do next time... Juan Martinez! Hola! Um, play something like... Long, long, winding road. Play whatever you like. New song to challenge yourself. You know what I'll do next time? I'm going to... I will... Um, Carpenters. Uh, yeah, I haven't tried playing Carpenters before. Let's see if we can give that a go. I was like, what? No math tonight. <laughs> Do you do session work? I don't know what that means. Holy crap, man. I don't know anything about anything. It's all these questions. So I have to look up Metallica. Let it be by whomever that is. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Next time, I'm going to get YouTube. I'll play a song and then I'll try and hear it. I like hearing whatever you play. Uh, well, my friend, you are just the best customer. Um, damn it. Someone said something. The Carpenters are from my city. Oh, cool. Play on other people's music. Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Let's try. Uh, we've only just... No, that one be hard. Do... Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Sharing horizon that are good to us. Watching the signs along the way. <laughs> Talking it over, just the two of us. I'll have to hear it. Uh, we've only just begun. Anyway, next time. I'm just boring everyone now. All right, well, it was lovely to see everybody. I will play for a bit. All my friends are heathens. Holy crap. Man, I don't know anything about anything. All right, Gab Life. Thank you, guys. It was great to b sort of survive that. <laughs> Oh, well, I, thank you very much. Uh, you discovered me very quickly. <laughs> all right, all the best. Nigel, Jed Diva, Juan Martinez. We got some, we got through the depression. It was great. So now we're going to go do some study. All right, thanks, Juan. <laughs> thank you. Me, 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 me,